Psalm 144 has great verses for military men, from King David to General Robert E. Lee. Blessed be the Lord my strength, which teacheth my hands to war, and my fingers to fight, my goodness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield and he in whom I trust. These are verses for ministry in every age. Though doctrine never changes, societies do. We must stand strong and never compromise the truth of God's Word. It is vital that the Lord teach our hands how to work in this day and age. The U.S. military is an open field ready for harvest, ripe for a mighty move of God. Currently, the U.S. government is spending billions to feed, clothe, and even entertain our servicemen and women. But there is little spent to address their spiritual needs. It is our belief that a gospel-focused local church this is a tool of God's choice to reach this harvest. Imagine with me for a moment the potential of a military church. The military is comprised of young, able-bodied, driven, and disciplined people. Most of them recognize the reality that their job can lead them to an early appointment with death. When confronted with the truth of the gospel, many have gone on to serve in local churches, mission agencies, the pastorate, or even as missionaries themselves. Our first experience with a military mission church came in 1999 when I received orders to Iceland. Church members actually met us at the airport and helped us settle in. First Baptist Iceland quickly became a place of fellowship, spiritual growth, accountability. It was our home and our family. God used that ministry to instill in us a love for missions and missionaries. That's not a unique legacy to just our family. Many past members of First Baptist Iceland have gone from military service to ministry. The current pastor of First Baptist Iceland is a good example. As a reservist, I often travel to overseas bases. Thankfully, I have found similar ministries nearby and have always been welcomed, accepted, and encouraged. We believe the Holmans, with their love for souls and experience working with the military and in ministry, are well equipped for this mission field. We would gladly be a part of any military ministry led by Pastor Holm. Hi, we first met John and Denise at First Baptist Church in Keflavik, Iceland, when Brian was stationed there. FBC was very much like my being at my local church back in rural Indiana. I worked for the commander, Iceland Defense Force as his secretary and had made contacts that God intended for his use in the life of another missionary, Chris Shule, soon to be passing through Kethlovic. Through these God-given contacts, I was able to introduce Chris to a Danish government official who got them there quickly. Coincidence? Nope. God. We enjoyed our time in Iceland at First Baptist, and God used it to draw us closer to him and to each other. John was a brother in Christ who became a lifelong friend through his ministry to us. We know, personally, military missions bear eternal fruit, which bears more eternal fruit. Brother John, you and your family are always, always in, in our, our prayers. prayers. Recently, God has reached out and called John to Denise Hallman for this exact purpose. John, a preacher's son, gave his heart to Christ at the age of 10 and surrendered to preach at 28. Denise. John's wife of over 20 years, also grew up in a preacher's home. She knew very early on that God would have her involved in missions. The Hallmans have consistently served the Lord through local church ministries. They have experienced preaching, leading music, and teaching Sunday school classes. God has even opened up a rare opportunity for Brother Hallman to preach in public schools and serve as chaplain to local athletic teams. Brother Holman has not only a deep love for the millennial and post-millennial generations, but the experience to make an impact for Christ. The Holman family's greatest desire is for God to use them to be an encouragement and blessing to each and every church while they visit on deputation. Once on the field, they are resolved to obey the Great Commission through personal soul winning and discipleship. Ultimately, their objective is to establish or strengthen a local church. Please consider partnering with the Hallmans to reach the U.S. military through the local church. I'm John Harvey, pastor of Shining Light Baptist Church. 
is my privilege to recommend to you John and Denise Hall as missionaries to our military abroad. We are asking pastors and churches to support the Hallmans in two ways. First, we're asking people to pray for the Hallmans as they minister to our military. We believe that the Hallmans ministry will only be as good as our prayers. Second, we are asking churches to consider financially supporting the Hallmans as they go to the field. I have known John and Denise Hallman for several years and believe that they are uniquely qualified for this ministry. Would you help us send them to our military abroad?